Hello friends, this video on synthetic fibers and plastics part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have discussed about all the different types of synthetic fibers. Now based on whatever we have discussed, let us look at some of the common characteristics of all synthetic fibers. Now there are certain advantages as well as disadvantages associated with synthetic fibers. So let us first talk about the advantages. So it is less expensive definitely because if when you think of the natural fibers like the, the natural silk, natural wool, they are all very expensive. But compared to that these synthetic fibers are cheap, they are strong and elastic and they last for a longer time when compared to the natural fibers. You take a very simple example. If you have a cloth which is made up of, you have a dress which is made up of pure cotton and you have another dress which is made up of uh, say poly cotton or uh, terry cotton, something like that. So if you look at the durability of the dresses, you will see that the dress which is made up of pure cotton will not last longer because cotton has lot of pores so due to the presence of those pores when you repeatedly wash that particular garment so the material tends to become worse but at the same time uh, wearing the pure cotton cloth is far more comfortable when compared to the synthetic fiber easy to maintain now these synthetic fibers whether it is rayon or it is um, polycot or it is uh, terry cotton so all these type of synthetic fibers they do not get wrinkled very easily and they are also easy to wash they get dried up easily so because of these advantages they are quite easy to maintain durable as i said easily available now in order to prepare these fibers their, their production is under our control so we can produce as much as we want so therefore they are also easily available but when you talk about the natural fibers they are not under our control so their availability is also not under our control now however we have so many advantages but at the same time there are certain disadvantages or negative points associated with the synthetic fibers so one is they shrink and melt when burned so if they come in contact with fire then these fibers tend to melt completely therefore there is there is a huge risk involved in this case now if somebody is wearing a cloth which is made up of a synthetic fabric now and if by mistake that person comes in contact with fire maybe in front of a candle or in front of a firecracker or in front of the gas oven so then what happens is that fabric easily catches fire and the fiber starts melting because of which the fire sticks to the body of that person and it can burn that person. So it is extremely risky to wear synthetic clothes while cooking or while burning firecrackers or while, um, while handling anything with fire. So it is always advisable to wear cotton clothes or to wear natural fibers now in con when you are near fire. So this is one very important thing to be remembered that synthetic clothes should never be worn when you are going to do something or when you are going to deal with fire. Do not absorb sweat. Now synthetic clothes they do not have lot of open pores and as a result they do not absorb the sweat. Now since they do not absorb sweat what happens is during uh, hot days, during summer days you tend to get a lot of sweat because the temperature outside is quite high. Now, if you are wearing a cotton cloth, they tend to absorb all the sweat and there are a lot of pores on the cotton cloth that allows, to, that helps to cool your body. So you feel comfortable. But if you are wearing a synthetic cloth, it, it will, first of all, it will not allow the sweat to go out because it will not absorb the sweat. So what happens is all the heat gets trapped within your body. So you tend to feel more hot. Therefore, during summers, it is always advisable to wear cotton clothes. Less comfortable to wear. Now, since these synthetic fibers, as I said, they do not absorb a lot of sweat and all. So they are not very comfortable to wear also. Their production process might harm environment because during their process of production, a lot of gases are produced which are not uh, good for the environment. So they harm the environment. So that means also their production process is not very environment friendly. Thank you. 
Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.